bit anticlimactic. Someone's meant to take a chair away. Oh, we haven't got Ian anymore. <sighs> well, today we are here at the JRC trade show and we've got a whole range of JRC chairs in case you hadn't noticed. I haven't actually got my breath back from that really short little intro. I know, we are very unfit. <sighs> but we're gonna have to get our breath back because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight chairs and one's not here as well. Yeah, that's a lot of chairs. All right, let's jump into them then. Okay, so first up, we're gonna look at the Defender range of chairs. And as you can see, it's quite an extensive range. These two chairs we've got here are the recliner versions of the range. And this is the high recliner. So as you can see, for me, it's quite tall. We're yeah, probably we, in the wrong chairs. we're probably in the wrong ones each because my head, it's pretty comfortable actually, but the upper headrest bit is kind of touching my upper back rather than neck, which I'm thinking Whereas for is me, a bit I've, low. I've got quite a decent block from the wind here. So it's actually really nice and comfortable, but these recliners both recline into eight different versions from pretty much dead upright to completely flat. And also they're probably more designed for the slightly larger angle, I'd say, compared to some of the others, because the width of the seating position is 56 centimeters. I'm not, I'm getting wider, but I'm not the widest yet. And there's still plenty of room around me. The padding over the bars, so my legs sitting on the sides are nice and comfortable. The armrests are a perfect height as well for just being really lazy on the bank. And as you've seen, very up to you on how much you want to recline from all the way back. There we go, so upright. So moving on to what I think is the star of the show is this Defender chair. And it's a bit smaller, a bit more compact, but the best part about it is the price. And this is the cheapest chair in the JRC range at just $49.99. So if you wanted something really cheap that's just good enough, <laughs> then this is gonna be the one to go for. If you're wanting a guest chair or something like that, then this is gonna be the ideal chair. It packs away nice and small, it's nice and light. Like I say, it comes in at under 50 quid. But if you like some of the elements of the recliner armchair, this is basically an in-between between the two on the end there and these two, because these come with arms. It's a fixed reclining position, but it's a overall fairly comfortable. It is a smaller chair, more lightweight. But if you like the fact that this has got armrests, which you were saying you do like to have in a chair, mm. this may be the one for you. And as you can see, there's a slightly thinner track, I'd say, on these. Track, the right word? I don't know if you have a track on a I chair. I don't think you have a track on a chair, but mm. anyway, they're a bit thinner on these. So if you are a larger person, either go for this like, one so you can like spill over the sides. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> or I'd go for some of the larger recliners down the end. But if you want something a little bit different, then there is a JRC Defender folding chair. And it's pretty much like your conventional camping chair, but obviously of a higher quality. It folds up nice and small, it comes with a bag, but it's also- That would small, fit in a quiver. I was gonna say, it's small enough that you could put it in a quiver. If you're going for day sessions and you want everything in one place, you don't wanna carry extra things, then the, uh, the Defender folding chair is probably gonna be the one. Also now, fully adjustable. Yeah, so. I was gonna say all, all of the chairs in this range have got adjustable mud feet and uh, adjustable height and things like that. And they've even got like a locking leg design as well. So there's no chance of sitting on it and then falling backwards. Wow, well, is, this is, is more quite... of a director's chair. After jacking it all up like this, that's a director's chair. It is, oh, isn't that's it? quite nice though. Cause if you like, don't like getting down in low chairs, you wanna sit a bit higher, still have a bit of comfort. That's almost a bit of me. I don't know if my legs will touch the floor. You might have your legs swinging. For the, for the purpose of the video. <sighs> oh, they're swinging. I, I can touch with my toes. <laughs> and let's leave that there and move on to the next range. While we have a little break, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell icon as well, so you don't miss any future uploads. Should we get back to it? I suppose so. So here are two of the three Rover chairs that are in the range. Yeah, so I am in the X-Low chair, and what's your one? I'm just in a chair. It's literally called <laughs> Rover chair. Nice and simple for me to remember that one. Yeah, that's why you're in that one. But yeah, they're really cool little chairs. They're, the idea is they're built for stalking and just to be easy to move around, and they definitely are. They fold up nice and small, but they're still nice and comfortable. You've got a, a camo padding around the side. They're actually fleece lined as well on the, on the bottom and the back of them. So overall, it's quite a nice chair. Yeah, and as you can see from backrest height, a bit smaller to some of the other ones we've shown you from the Defender range. This one is coming up to just below my shoulder height, and for you, it's probably just below as well. Mine's a little so bit that lower, one yeah. It's definitely the smaller of the two. If it was, you're a bigger angle, but you still want to go for the 
more lightweight ones, I would opt for this one because it just feels a bit more spacious for me, despite still being a small pack down size. The legs have a leg fixation system. That's what it's named mm. in the catalog. You have a leg fixation? I do have a leg fixation Lovely. and the fact it comes supplied even better. <laughs> and it's on all of the chairs. So what that basically means is that when you pick up a chair, the legs don't fold in. Didn't hit you in the face, either. No, nearly. They are locked in place, but a bit of a whack. And there you are, they've broken down. So if you're moving them around, there's no chance, oh, pretty strong, of them collapsing down. And as you can see from there, this chair has full adjustability on both the front and rears, where yours is a bit different on the rear, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, um, so that. so <laughs> it's going to be awkward. <laughs> so on the rear of mine, it's actually a fixed bar, which again, just helps to keep it that little bit more compact. Everything folds. Go on. That is some fixation. <laughs> and apparently that's front and back. But yeah, everything folds nice and neatly. Like I say, it's uh, nice and easy to carry around. I'm not going to put it Ever back up. Ever thought about doing telemarketing? I haven't, no. Let's move on to the next chairs. <laughs> so now we move on to the JRC Cocoon range of chairs. So I have got the relaxer chair and Joe is using the recliner chair, which unfortunately they haven't actually got with us today. <laughs> so we can't show you that one, but they're both very similar chairs and they follow very similar features. Mm -hmm. So this is all about comfort and this is kind of the high end of the JRC chairs. It is one of the most expensive, but it definitely is one of the most comfortable how you can find in yours. <laughs> um, mine could be better, I'm not gonna lie, but if it was here, I'm sure I'd be saying the same because it follows the same sort of design of really strong, rigid frames, strong padding, polyester, fleece. So they all share the same design of that. They've also got the leg, what was it again? The leg fixation. Leg fixation, leg fixation. Yeah. But it has a cog system on the rear point here so you can change how much it reclines and lock that into position so if you're someone that wants to get a nap in the day and recline it right back you can do whereas this one is a bit more fixed in one position and then like all the other chairs we've shown you today they're all fully adjustable on the legs and they've got adjustable mud feet as well but the best part about the mud feet is they have pegging points have you ever pegged your chair in let us know in the comment section below have you ever used the pegging points on a chair there you go, a quick rundown of all the different chairs available from JRC. And if you want to find out any more information about any of these chairs, then head over to the JRC website. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to us and uh, like this video because it really does help us out. But thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Oh God, Joe, Joe, we should have pegged it down. <laughs> <laughs>